Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new Yummy Arts Kitchen. Yay! It's actually Tammy's kitchen. We are here today this morning with Tammy Utley. Yay! And that's a huge deal because we haven't seen Tammy in a very long time. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to give it, turn it over to Tammy. Take it away, Tammy! Yay! Yay! I'm so, I'm so glad you guys could be here. I'm glad I can be here. Um, it's great to be back in the kitchen. Well, I'm in the kitchen all the time, but it's glad that you are now in my kitchen. <laughs> we're um, happy to be here. Yes. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a Chinese lantern cake. The Chinese New Year is on the 8th of February, I believe, this year. It's, it's very early. So I thought we'd do something fun. Um, we don't normally celebrate it, but, you know, uh, we do do themed cakes for it. So um, let's do it. So let's do it. Yeah. Let's um, start with a so loaf of bread. So I have my loaf of bread here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually, this is actually um, a cake that I baked in my Pyrex bowl. Let me go grab it. A Pyrex bowl. Yeah. Did you know these things are oven safe? Yep. Yeah, I did, all your Pyrex fact. bowls are pretty much oven safe and they'll say so on the bottom and it's it's like the perfect size. And I have a set of nesting mm -hmm. one of these. Oh. Um, I think they're antiques now because cool. <laughs> I see them in the antique stores. But um, there uh, you can get any Pyrex bowls, the glass ones, the casserole bowls, a lot of them that are Pyrex. You look on the bottom, they say oven safe. You can actually cook in these. There's also the metal bowls too, this nesting metal bowls. You can cook in those too. So that's what I did to make my bread here. Excellent. It's, it's a cake. <laughs> okay. Nice. So I just baked in this. It was the right size for me. And, it, and cool. it baked just perfectly. I actually baked it at 325, so a little lower than the normal 350 because it's deep. But baked beautifully. Excellent. There it is. Very, very, very. Just don't use the metal bowls in a microwave. That's all I'm saying. No. <laughs> I'd like to help those. you with that little tip You can there. use those in the microwave. I don't bake cakes in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. one of those that does that. So <laughs> so anyway, so I just baked a round cake. If you don't have any bowls at all, you know, you're from outer space and you need to go buy some. No, I'm, you, can, you can always carve a cake to try to carve it round, okay? Eesh. There's also some of the, the, the character pans, like a soccer pan or something like that, that you can use too if you happen to have. Um, if it's got impressions like the soccer ball impressions or something like that, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see them because we fill it with buttercream when we crumb coat it. And so you can just go ahead and use that. We're going to cover this with fondant today. Um, so let's go ahead and um, start doing some of it. What I have here is I, I crumb coated this with buttercream, right? It's on a little six inch board and it's nice and it's crusted over now. Um, I could actually uh, buttercream stripes on this. Mm hmm because I want to make ridges for the fondant, but my hand's a little shaky. It's been a while since I've been decorating, so I haven't quite gotten back up to my, um, t I don't quite have my skill level up where it should be on some things, like piping, because I haven't had enough time to practice it. But um, So this is going to be easy? So this is, yeah, this is going to be really <laughs> easy. We love easy. We love easy, yeah, really easy. So Ready? I've got my clay gun and I've got a, a round excellent hole in it. Yeah, any okay. tool that'll help us. Any, yeah, anything that'll any make tool. it a little bit easier. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this around it. And mm. I'm going to use a little bit of water if I have to do attach it. What is that tool you're using? This oh, is a knife is. tool. Okay. You guys have seen this a million times. It was just behind your hand, so oh, I want to make sure you got it. Sorry. Yeah, basically all I'm going to do, because I, you know, if you can pipe this, by all means pipe it because it's faster than doing it this way. Really? But, this seems pretty fast and easy. Yeah, it's pretty, but piping's faster. Huh. When I practiced this cake, I actually piped it, but my lines weren't straight and I didn't want to embarrass myself on TV or on internet or whatever we're yep. on. <laughs> you stream? On the air. On the air. <laughs> so um, I didn't want to embarrass myself, so I figured I'd just do the, do the this part. Do the this part. Do the this part. <laughs> Do it this way. Excellent. If you pipe it with buttercream, they you, will would, come. you would pipe this and put it in the freezer mm. for about five minutes or so so that these lines get stiff, okay? Oh. That way, when you put your fondant on top of it, you're not going to squish it. Otherwise, if you have soft buttercream on here, you'll squish it with the weight of the fondant. So if you pipe this with buttercream, stick it in the freezer for about five minutes, you know, maybe ten, until you can touch it and it's not going to... Um, collapse you know down and then you can cover it with fondant and you won't have a problem so you want it firm yeah you want You're it making firm. ridges yes we are see it's a lantern a and lantern those with paper ridges. lanterns have ridges hey it's an authentic look 